الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أحبت في الله <coughs> continuing on in our study of Tafsir uh, Surah Al-Ma'oon <coughs> uh, we reach the portion of the Surah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم <coughs> وَلَا يُحُدُّ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Oh, before that, فَذَلِكَ, فذلك الْيَدُعُ الْيَتِيمِ <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and then this one uh, who rejects the yatim, rejects the, the orphan. And we already mentioned the hadith of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَيْرَ بَيْتْ فِي الْمُسْلِمِينَ بَيْتْ فِيهِ يَتِيمٌ يُحْسِنُ إِلَيْهِ وَشَرْ بَيْتْ فِي الْمُسْلِمِينَ بَيْتْ فِيهِ يَتِيمٌ يُسَا إِلَيْهِ ثُمَّ قَالَ بِأُسْبُعِهِ أَنَا وَكَافِلَ الْيَتِيمُ فِي الْجَنَّةِ هَكِذَا we mentioned the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the best house from amongst the houses of the, of the Muslims is a house which contains uh, a an orphan which is being treated with righteousness. And the worst house from amongst the Muslims is a house which contains an orphan that is being treated with wickedness. And then the Prophet ﷺ uh, gestured with his hand. He said that myself and the one who cares for an orphan will be in paradise like this. And then Sheikh Salim bin Pozan said, وَفِيهِ دَلِيلٌ عَلَى فَضْلِ الْكَفَالَ الْيَتِيمِ وَقِيَامٍ بِشَوْنِهِمْ بِشَوْنِهِمْ uh, Sheikh, Salim, uh, Sheikh Salim bin Fozan, Allah Ta'ala, he mentioned, he said that this is evidence for the greatness of caring for the orphan and that taking, and for taking care of their affairs. And then he mentioned about this characteristic of people that Allah, who is, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described in the Qur'an the ones who do not care for the yatim, that this is the second characteristic out of the characteristics that we've mentioned uh, that Allah is warning against because we began the surah, Have you seen the one who has rejected the day of judgment? This is the first characteristic. Then this is the one that, uh, you know, rejects the orphan. وَلَا يُحُدُّ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ And then the third characteristic is the one that they don't encourage feeding of the poor and the indigent. So Sheikh Salim bin Fazani said, لَكِنْ وَلَكِنْ هَذَا الْسِنْفِ مِنَ النَّاسِ يَحْتَقِرُونَ الْيَتِيمِ وَيَسْتَدْعَفُونَهُ وَيُسِئُونَ إِلَيْهِ بِالْقَوْلِ وَالْفِعْلِ فَيُزَجِرُونَهُ بِالْقَوْلِ وَيَدْفَعُونَهُ بِالْفِعْلِ وَهَذِهِ الْجَرِيمَ عَظِيمَةِ لَا يَفْعَلُهَا إِلَّا مَنْ يَقْذِبْ بِالدِّينِ أو يُكَذِّبْ بِالدِّينِ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ سَيَجْزَيْهِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ عَلَى هَذَا الصُّنِيعِ That he says that this uh, category of person which is described in this ayat that they belittle the orphan and they weaken them, you know, and they, they make them weak and, and, and stay needy, you know, they, they don't take care of them, they, they reject them, they repel them, and they are wicked towards them in statements and in actions. And they punish them with their statements. So in their speech, there's punishment. And this is a lesson for us that when we speak, and may Allah forgive us, uh, that we can often be punishing in our speech and how we speak to others, how we speak to children, how we speak to our uh, people we're charged in authority over, that we can be punishing 
in the way we speak. We can speak with hassid and, and envy and wickedness and just harshness. So this is a type of punishment. And that this person also, that they uh, turn them away in their actions. And then Sheikh Salam bin Fazani said, "Hadhihi jarima alima." He said that this is a, 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 a great type of crime. This is a great crime, a grievous crime, and that no one does this except one who is uh, denying the religion, one who is, you know, you can the be deen. That's that's a very strong statement, and he gets that from the ayat, because the law begins. Have you seen the one who rejects the deen, who rejects the day of judgment? Of course, it's referring to the day of judgment. At the same time, this is, this is showing that this person, that they are rejecting something which is great from the religion of Islam, and that is taking care of the orphan and the weak and the indigent, those people who are in need. And then he says, وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, give them their reward, meaning their punishment on the day of judgment for what they've done. And then he mentions the third characteristics. As-sifata thalitha. Wa la yuhuddu ala ta'amil miskeen. Ay la yuhath wa la yargab fi it'amil miskeen. Al-misakeen. Wal-fuqara. Wal-fuqir huwa alladhi la shayluhu yuqumu so he mentioned that the third characteristic is contained in the ayat where Allah says, and they don't encourage the feeding of the poor. And then he mentions that they don't, what this means is that they don't encourage it. So meaning, first and foremost, if they don't encourage it, they're not doing it as well. And they have no desire to feed those people who are deserving, those people who are in need. And then he said, and, and the fuqara, those who, who are in need. And then he said, the fuqir that he explained, who, who is the fuqir? Who's, who's this person? Who's, what does it mean to be the poor here? He said, those people who don't have anything, they don't have enough to take care of their needs, of what they, they, what they need, and what is sufficient for them. And then he said, and they are a people who the, the wealthy, who have a right over the wealthy. The wealthy have, ha, have a duty to these people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the for the the the, the fukara a portion from zakat that they are the people who should be paid the zakat and this is uh something which is a duty and this is for their needs and due to their poor their poverty so this shows us the importance of caring for the for the for the poor, and those are just some of the benefits of those ayat. And then we'll get on to the last portion of the surah in the next sitting. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala Muhammad.